everyone and welcome back to the Sugar Pill YouTube channel. My name's Autumn and today we are here with Miles J. Hi. <laughs> so I'm super stoked that you're here. I'm stoked to be here. Uh, Miles is a comedian, does sketches, does amazing beauty and tutorial videos. I mean, like, you, do a little you don't bit have of to lie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> today we're gonna do another Sugar Pill Showdown. Yes. I'm so ready. If you guys don't know how this game works, we have this magical jar of popsicle sticks, mm -hmm. and each one of these sticks has one of the names of our eyeshadows on it. So you're gonna draw three of them, and then we're each gonna create our own unique look using those three colors. Okay. So, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Velocity. Ooh! We have Candy Crush. <gasps> we have the, inve oh, <laughs> the inventor. <laughs> this is a great color combo. Come How'd through. you do that? Well, I always start by putting a nice white base on my eye. Where did your YouTube adventure start? It started a year or two after YouTube did. I had already been making videos since I was like 12 or 13. Because my parents gave me a camera when I was like super young. They knew I had an interest in filming. I started filming like these parodies and like sketches with my mm -hmm. brother. Uh, we used to make <laughs> parodies of like The Matrix and all these other uh -huh. crazy stuff and like one time we made a parody of our actual family so we were acting as our other family members and we had them all watch during uh -huh. like Thanksgiving or something oh like that. Oh my god. Because you moved around a lot. Yeah, yeah, I was a military family so like I had to move constantly. My first time doing it seriously I guess is I tried out for this collab channel called Gaze of the Week. Mm -hmm. Hello my fellow Gaze of the Week, my name is Miles J and I would like to be your new Friday! <laughs> so I was like, oh, why don't I just like audition? I'm probably not gonna get it because it's like my first thing that I've auditioned for like mm -hmm. on YouTube, so like whatever. So I just like went for it. My audition video is still on YouTube. So is there any place in particular that you want the career to, to go from here with YouTube? I'm at that learning period where I'm like trying to figure out yeah. what I like really want to do and like I'm starting to get serious about stuff. But I definitely want to have like my own show. It's definitely gonna be funny. How would you describe it to somebody who was like, who is Miles? What is happening? <laughs> well, now it's like a mixture. I've been feeling different ways, different days, you uh -huh. know? <laughs> like yesterday I was feeling like a 70s vibe. Today I'm feeling like very like Harajuku, um, Lolita. Mm -hmm. And then some days I'll be feeling like a little goth. My next one that I really want to try is the mod era with like the square dresses. Uh -huh. and, like, I already have the That's shoes for it. Yeah. I love it. What, do you have any specific style references that you go back to a lot? I like to mix like Harajuku style with uh, like hip hop or urban. Definitely a like, little mixture. Sure streetwear. Yeah, streetwear. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. But it took so long to get the closet I have now. How's your style evolved over the years? I used to dress like a scene kid. I didn't care and I knew that I looked fucking ridiculous, but it was just like, if I didn't do anything new, I wasn't gonna know anything new. Who or what are your biggest like style and makeup inspirations then? Honestly, the first person that I remember seeing when I was younger was Jeffree Star. Mm -hmm. Yeah, quite honestly, he was like the scene queen. Yeah. And like everybody in high school knew who he was. I was like, oh bitch. And then I watched these videos and I was like, oh bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I did dress up as him at, at high school though. Oh my god. Yeah. Hey, it's Jeffree Star, bitch. And I'm in class, right? Oh god. Yep. You've, you've made your own wigs now, too. I have. <laughs> it's just a lot. It's a lot of work. I'm like, girl. How many wigs do you own at this point? I own over 40. I haven't counted, but I have a lot. Oh of my wigs. god. Do you have just like a wig head for every single one and just with the lots in it? I wish one day I will. Oh, uh, so now I'm using the Milk Makeup Hologram Stick. Mm -hmm. Binge. You guys actually have powder that's really good. To oh, set. yeah. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I'm just keeping her soft for now, you know, up on top, mm -hmm. you know, a nice little light blue. What are some of your favorite sugar pill products? Trinket. Oh yeah. You know, obviously. Mm -hmm. She's a, she is the biggest fave of all faves and I understand why now. It's looks, amazing. Yeah, it looks good on everything and everyone. Oh, Frostine, yeah. I thought originally that it was just like a matte lavender, but then I put it like on my face yeah. and it was like iridescent and I was like, bitch. <laughs> and also Kitten Parade. I know, you're all about pastels. I but... really am. <laughs> if there was a, like one makeup product or technique you couldn't live without, what would you say it is? 
Like, as long as I had eyebrows, I feel like I would be okay. What advice do you have for anyone who's just starting out in makeup? Don't be afraid to like screw up. You're gonna spend a lot of time just trying new techniques and trying things that, you know, could potentially make you uncomfortable. And so just be prepared to just go through it. So you just need to keep looking for like the right foundation or right technique that you want to achieve your look. And I recently went back on my old videos. I was like, bitch, I had no money, no job, and my makeup was for my friends. Like, uh -huh. leave me alone. Leave past me alone. <laughs> <laughs> so it's no secret that you're a big Japanese and Korean culture enthusiast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How did you get introduced to their culture and like what made you fall in love? Of course, anime. Mm -hmm. Anime is like Same. the gateway drug <laughs> to everything. It was my whole childhood. Yeah, yeah, it really was. Like I started out watching Totoro when I was like five from mm -hmm. Hayao Miyazaki and then like from that moment forward I was like this um, is incredible. That's pretty much how I got interested in um, Japanese culture or Japanese fashion. With Korea, it kind of happened the same way, except it was K-pop became a really yeah. big thing in like the early 2000s. So you've spent a lot of time in Japan and Korea, right? I spent a lot, a lot of, of time, time in Korea. Korea or Japan. Oh really? I went to Japan and Korea with two other friends and we were originally going to split the trip like down in half. So we spent half, a week and a half in Korea and a week and a half in Japan. We actually only spent like nine days, so like a week in Korea and then we spent 12 in Japan. But you've been learning languages. Yeah, so we, we tried to learn a little bit of Korean and I mean, Japanese, we didn't, we, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't study shit. No. No, <laughs> no. What was your absolute favorite part? I watch a lot of Korean vloggers and things. So mm -hmm. like one of my favorites was um, Chonu Miguk Saram. Getting to meet her was like the big highlight. I was like, oh my Aww. God, I'm so nice to meet you. I'm ready for this glitter. Ooh, bitch. <laughs> wow. That's really pretty. I love Lumi. It's like an absolute staple that everyone needs to have. You don't confine yourself to gender norms. Absolutely not. Which is super awesome, but I, I feel like nowadays it's it's like a big topic of conversation. Yeah. But you already weren't confining yourself to gender norms kind of before. Yeah, even when I was in high school. Yeah. yeah. Basically, I don't know, like I remember like I had this moment when after ninth grade, I was like, you know what? Fuck this, I'ma do my own shit and I'ma go outside and I'ma like perm my hair and I'm just gonna do the things that I wanna do. <laughs> and then like my friends, um, she liked to wear crazy clothes all the time. So I was like, oh, that looks like fun. So I started wearing like tutus to school and like just really random yeah. and crazy shit. And I always would get like teachers saying, I always look forward to like what you're gonna be wearing today in my class. Like, oh, that's awesome. Yes. You use like all pronouns though. Yeah. I always found that I, I kind of just don't care. Yeah, you don't you don't really label yourself though to any like you don't. Yeah, just, I'm just like yeah, I'm like it's not miles, like, he, you know she. you're not necessarily like a drag queen. You're not a you're not transgender mm -hmm. as far as I know. No, but, so, <laughs> that's why I don't. Bitch, me too. I don't want to pull that out there and just make assumptions for you. So I'm sorry. <laughs> No, but, it's um, fine. No, you're correct. I'm yeah. not trans. Yeah. I'm just kind you're of just like, wearing what you like. Yeah. And that's you. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> I just think, you know, I just like options. Do you have any advice for anybody who might feel like they don't fit into society's confines of gender normativity? Yeah. Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> just like life is really just so short. I just I, a certain point you just kind of realize, and it's different for everyone, but you just realize that you can't please everyone and you can't you can't be the perfect son or daughter or best friend or whatever. Like you you will come to a point where you realize you're just gonna have to start doing shit for yourself. Mm -hmm. I always like to do a nice like bright landing strip highlight down my nose bridge like plane is just landing and you know it might like skid over a little bit. <laughs> oh, she always finds her way. And Plus I think bomb. I'm gonna use Lullaby mm. with Angel Baby on top. It's so cute! I can't see like all of your face so I have to creep in your mirror. Oh, <laughs> creep. oh yeah, there she is. I love the smell of mm -hmm. Six too. I wanna eat it. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a pretty color combo. And boom. We're, We're done? done? I think so. <gasps>
All right, you guys, these are the finished looks. Yes. The darker color for my, yeah, like, velocity. yeah, my darker waterline. Color. I use Lumi in the inner corner, mm -hmm. and I also I see, use... I see candy crush on your lid. Yes. Ice Angel, that's what I use to create, like, the holographic mm -hmm. effects. And then I use the Lit Cosmetics Barbie Shops glitter on my eye. I use a lot of mochi. Yeah. And then for the lips, of course, I use Trinket. Mm hmm with a little bit of girl the crush Trinket. on top. Because it always looks really good when I have dimension on my mouth. Yeah. We went in totally different directions. Mm -hmm. I went, I was like, I'm gonna do this dramatic double cut crease. I love how contrasted they are. I did a color fade. I did Candy Crush to Velocity to The Inventor. On the top, I did the opposite in the other direction. And then I threw a little bit of kimchi in there because you have to throw a little bit of kimchi mm -hmm. in there. <laughs> and then I used uh, Glint on my lips. Because mm -hmm. I wanted, I don't know, I just wanted something that was gonna kind of pop with it. And I love gold with blue. Well, I mean, it's, obviously, and you've got your like holographic pink stars too, mm -hmm. so it really goes well. I just wanted to match my little, you know. Yes! <laughs> the other amazing thing is sugar pull shadows. It really shows up on all complexions. Mm -hmm. This is yeah. like one of one of the first things I heard about sugar pill mm -hmm. that drag queens use it a lot. Uh -huh. So <laughs> like, if drag queens use it, uh -huh. then I know I'm not gonna have a problem with it. Where can everybody find you on social media? Y'all can find me at on Miles J Productions, pretty much anywhere. Yeah. Just look up Miles J, M I L E S uh, J A I, and I will pop up. You'll yeah. find everything. You guys definitely have to go check them out. Mm -hmm. All right, well, thanks so much for being here. This was so, was so fun. Thanks so much for having me. It was um, great. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to this channel because we have a lot of other really fun videos coming out soon. Let us know in the comments below who you'd like to see on the next Sugar Pill Showdown. Who would you like to see? Um, I definitely know that you guys have collabed with Jackie Ina before. Mm -hmm. So I don't think she did the Sugar Pill Showdown. She, she was just experimenting with the mm -hmm. pumpkin spice colors. Yeah. So I would love to see her try out these colors on her skin tone. Yeah. Jackie. We're, we're coming for you. <laughs> yeah, figure it out, sis. <laughs> All right, thanks so much for watching, you guys. Until next time, bye. Bye.